Good day, everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you okay, how to create a Linux okay, a virtual machine instance okay, in a compute uh, engine okay, under the Google Cloud platform. Okay. Uh, actually, I have uh, logged into my account already, but then if you uh, do not have an account, okay, you can uh, create a new one. Okay. But then for my students, I assume that uh, each one of them okay, uh, has the account created already. Okay. And then here will be uh, my um, uh, virtual machines. Okay, I have two instances okay, created already, but then uh, they are not in the running mode. Okay, yeah, but then uh, in the video here, okay, I will create a brand new one. Okay, yeah. And then uh, there are many uh, ways that uh, you can create uh, an instance of uh, virtual machine. You can click the guide me. Okay, yeah. So assume that you have a uh, login to it already. Okay. Then you can see that on the right hand side, okay, uh, there is a tutorial. Okay, you can follow okay, uh, the steps over there. Okay, click start and then uh, look into it. Okay, select the project, da 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 da, da and then click next. Okay. But then uh, again, okay, I'm not going to use this method. Okay, but then if you want to try it, okay, feel free to uh, check it out. Okay, yeah. So okay, uh, that will be the guide me. Okay, then again, okay, uh, you can create an account okay, and then uh, once you have an account created okay, you might have to select a project okay. uh, so for me okay, uh, you can see that okay, I have uh, uh, some uh, uh, projects okay, I can pick I have two okay, uh, and then this is the one I'll be using okay yeah so I'm going to go I'm going to close this one okay but then you can create a brand new one if you want to and then make sure that okay, uh, you have uh, enabled the billing okay, then number four. Uh, you have uh, make sure that you enable the computer engine okay, uh, API. Again, you can click on that okay, and then uh, make sure that okay, uh, if there is a uh, computer engine API, okay, uh, make sure that okay, it is set to uh, enabled. Okay, I have enabled already. I don't want to disable it. Okay, so I will keep it that way. Okay, yeah. So let me close this one. Okay, yeah. All right. Now, uh, okay, I'm going to show you okay, how to create uh, a Linux okay, a virtual machine. Okay. Uh, as you can see from the steps over here, it's pretty simple, about seven steps. Uh, but then the default one okay, here is the uh, Ubuntu uh, 20, uh, 04, okay, long term support uh, operating system. Okay, but then I'm going to use the uh, DBN9, okay, yeah, so let me show you okay, how to do that, okay, yeah, so click the uh, uh, go to create an instance okay, button, okay, so again, I have logged in already, yeah, all right, okay, and then okay, uh, it will okay, uh, okay, bring me okay, to okay, this one, okay, to this one, and then okay, uh, again, okay, you can change the name, okay, so let me call it okay, my uh, DBN9, okay, uh, okay, yeah, and then okay, uh, I can again okay, use the default uh, to keep it simple. I will use the default, but then the only thing I have to change okay, over here okay, will be the uh, uh, the uh, uh, kind of the uh, uh, image. Okay, the image, okay, boot disk image. Okay, then you can see that uh, it uses okay, uh, DBN okay, uh, version 11, okay, but then I want to change it. Okay, so I'm going to click change. Okay, yeah. And then I can get select get a different get a, a operating systems. Okay, yeah, you can see that there are many of them. Okay, yeah, but I will keep it simple. I will use DBN and then even version numbers. Uh, there are get many different kinds. Okay, I will pick the uh, Linux line. Okay, yeah, because it's cheaper. Okay, yeah, actually, yeah, for testing purpose. Okay, and then I'm going to select, get, uh, click the uh, select get button. There you go, and you can double check it. Okay, it's a change to uh, uh, DBN Linux line. Okay, yeah, and then again, uh, for other options, I'm not going to get into it. Okay, I will just try to keep it simple. On the right hand side, you can almost uh, you can also see the uh, uh, the hourly rate okay, is really very less expensive. Okay, only 0 0.03 cents per hour. That's all. Yeah. All right, and then uh, assume that okay, uh, you want to allow the uh, okay, web page okay, uh, traffic and also the secured okay, web page traffic okay, which is the http protocol okay, web page okay. and once you have done it okay, then you can click the create button okay. 
Yeah, and then you will create the uh, virtual machine for you, okay? Yeah, and then get, uh, again, if it's first time, get, it might take a little bit time, get to work on it, and then you can check on this, get notification, get here, get, and then get also the status bar over here, get, uh, if it's ready, get, then you will see, there you go, get, you will see the check mark here, and then the name of your virtual machine, get the zone, get location, the internal IP, the external IP, this one is important, okay? Yeah, make sure that uh, okay, you have this one, okay? Kind of no, uh, uh, be ready okay, when you need to make the connection. All right, so it is up and running, but then what's next? Okay, so usually okay, you want to make a connection, right? Get to remotely log in from your um, uh, local machine to get okay, your virtual machine, okay? Uh, reside somewhere okay, uh, over the internet. Okay, so you can use this okay, uh, secure shield okay, uh, uh, connection. Okay, so I will just keep it simple. Use the first one. Okay, yeah. Open in browser. Okay, window. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then uh, you will try to make the connection. Don't close this one yet. Okay, yeah. Just keep it there. Okay, you will set up the uh, uh, connection for you. Exchange the uh, security keys. Okay, yeah. So just get be patient, okay, yeah. And then there you go, okay. Now, okay, it has connected already, then you can close this one, okay, and then uh, you can move it down, okay, and if the font size, uh, okay, is too small, then you can change it. I think the default is small, okay, but then uh, for me, I have certain age already, okay, so I prefer large, okay, all largest, okay, yeah, and then again, uh, you can just get type in any command, get LS, get, uh, this will be the Linux system. So make sure that you know some basic Linux command, uh, PWD, print, get current get working directory, okay, yeah. Da, 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 change to the root, get LS, get. So I think that will be get all, and once you're done with get, uh, the uh, task you want to do, then you can close it. Okay, yeah, you can close this one if you want to. And then again, it's still up and running. Okay, all right. And then okay, uh, if you if I switch back to the instruction over here, then I think that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward, seven steps. Okay, yeah. I have uh, created an instance of the uh, Debian 9 Linux okay, uh, virtual machine okay, under the Google Cloud platform. Uh, the next one okay, shows how to make the connection, okay, which I have shown it to you already. Okay, yeah. And then the default name will be uh, the instance one, but then okay, instance dash, dash one, but I decided to change to a DBN okay, uh, nine. Okay, yeah, my DBN nine. All right, next one I mentioned about a uh, cleanup. Okay, so okay, you can see that. Okay. Uh, it said that okay, to avoid okay, incurring uh, charges get okay, to your uh, Google Cloud account, okay, when you don't need to use the um, a virtual machine, okay, then okay, uh, it is better that okay, uh, you delete it, okay? Yeah, so okay, again, okay, you can click this one, up to you, okay? Or once you log in, then you can see that okay, it is up and running, okay? Yeah, and then okay, you can just click this more option here, okay? And you can delete it, okay? You can delete it, okay? So let me delete it, yeah. And again, uh, it will take a while okay, uh, to delete it. Okay, so please get, be patient. Okay, yeah, please be patient. Yeah. All right. Okay, and then okay, uh, it's still working on it. Okay, the message shows that get okay, deleting, get okay, not deleted. Okay, yeah, so it's still deleting. Okay, yeah, so it's still working on it. Okay, it's still working on it. Uh, be patient. Okay. And then you might be wondering that. Uh, uh, wouldn't be nice that uh, I just uh, stop the machine okay, instead of delete it. Well, yeah, you can stop it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you can see that it got deleted. So, uh, and then the message is instance deleted. Okay, and then can you stop the machine? Oh yeah, yeah. Just like those two instances, they are stopped. Okay, so, okay, uh, you say, well, uh, then uh, why bother to delete it? Okay, well, when you stop it, actually, okay, uh, you have okay, used okay, the so-called uh, Google storage okay, to okay, uh, store your uh, virtual machine instances. Okay, so uh, it will in, it will still in, uh, uh, incur okay, charges. Okay, yeah, but then uh, not that much. Okay, it won't be. I mean, the charge won't won't be that much. Okay, so I mean, if you don't need to use the uh, 
uh, virtual machine, okay, you have two options. Okay. Uh, you can just stop it okay, or you can delete it. Delete it means that, I mean, you no longer, you are sure that, that you no longer need to use it. Then you can delete it. For me, I still need to use those two virtual machine instances. Okay, so I just get kind of turn the machines off. Okay, that's all. Yeah. So I think that uh, that will be all. Okay. Yeah. About okay, this video. Okay, uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Okay. Yeah. So let me stop the recording. Yeah.